hello guys good morning um today i want to make um, plantain chips my neighbor actually gave me some of our plantain so the plantain is actually plenty so i decided to make plantain chips so as you see here i was done peeling already i sliced it using my knife to slice so i'll fry it and make it crispy see it here um it's frying it really looks nice though i'm not even done already see how it's looking she got it from her farm and the plantain was as is naturally big so instead of just allowing it to waste so i decided to just do plantain chips with it and it's it's going to come out it's coming out really very fine so this is how to make plantain chips or well, some of you don't know how plantain chips is made you peel after peeling into very flat as in you have to make it really really very flat so that after you're done frying your plantain will come out very nice and crispy okay yeah so the um my plantain chips is ready now so i'll this one is ready, so I have to bring it out. From then, I have to bring this one out now. All right, guys. So. I'm actually frying the last batch now. It's not easy doing video and then I'm using a camp gas to actually fry it because my gas got finished on the other gas. Thank God I had um I have small gas remaining in this camp gas. So that's what I'm using to fry it out. Hmm. Looking very fine. Mm. Oh, nice. Very easy to make. And a very nice snack. How fun the plantain looks. Very fine. All right, let me check on this one. Alright guys, so ah see how beautiful my plantain chips looks. I'm done frying. What is left now is um just to enjoy. See it's so nice and see how oh good so fine. I love plantain chips a lot though. I used to make it myself. You now at times when you buy, you sell it. You just count like maybe I think like sit um between five to six of these for hundred naira. So most time at times it's better you fry yourself. Um, oh good. my plantain please rate it tell me how it how it looks so it's so fine all right guys so oh nice and crispy oh oh boy this is so lovely mm. very crunchy very crunchy, very nice. Ah. Please, you all come and join me. Come and join me. And please, if you are not subscribed to the channel, you are to subscribe. And if you are coming across my channel for the very first time, please subscribe. Show me love and help me grow. 
subscribe like comment and share so oh sorry anyway, just that so tasty very crunchy crispy wow mm. wow <laughs> so thank you very much for watching <laughs> see you all in my next video <laughs> bye um, i want to make a um, small okra soup low budget okra low budget but very tasty okra soup okra mixed with okbono i don't know if you've seen that style but um, okra mixed with okbono that's what i'll be making this is my okra Blended with crayfish, and this is my freshly diced, I'll be chopped okras. Maggi, I'm using dry pepper, crayfish. So I've added crayfish to my um, to my oven already. Yes, baby. I'll be using a um, bitter leaf, bitter leaf is what I will use. Okay, you can, as you can see, I added my stock fish, beef, and pomo. They are actually boiling now. I've seasoned it already. I added them no cubes, salt, and dried pepper. I just added my stock fish now. I'll allow this to boil very to boil until like seven seventy percent. Um, done before I will now add water and then add my palm oil. All right, guys, so keep watching. All right, guys, that's my bitter leaf. I actually want to boil it first before adding it to my soup. The bitter leaf is bit very bitter so. Boiling it will help reduce um, the bitterness of the bitter leaf. So I allow this to boil and then put off the gas. So now let's see my. Okay, so you see my the water I used to boil the meat is actually dried. So now I want to add water. My low budget soup bowl. That's why I see I'm using a small pot to make this soup. Low budget soup. Okay, I think this is okay. Come on, take it back. Yeah. And it's time for me. I also add my palm oil now, and then cover it and allow it to boil properly. Okay, I don't have my palm oil. Some people actually fry okra and fry obono, but I do not. Okay, so I'll cover this and allow I'll, I'll cover it and allow it to boil. All right, my pizza leaf is ready. It's boiling now. I cannot put up the gas. Okay. See, my oil has mixed with the water. I allow it to boil properly so that the oil and water will mix together. I see the color. The color is not very fine. I can now add my blended obono mixed with crayfish. So I won't have to cover again, no. you know. We are taught not to cover our oven, and you cover it, it don't drop. So at this point, 
I won't be covering my pot until my abono soup is ready. I don't know the mystery behind it, how true it is, but we are told at least we learnt it that way that you don't cover abono. If you cover it or not, that's in the, the sliminess, so not be very slimy. So, allow this to boil very well. And then add my okra. Okay, guys, my bono is properly cooked now, so I can add my okra. The okra, eh, I want it to be crunchy, so I want to allow it to. So I've added my okra. Now stay. It's so bon I bought this. Okay, so I'll also allow this to boil just for For less than one minute, I'll just add my bitter leaf. Yeah, so guys, see how nice my omono soup looks. It is actually ready. So at this point, you can add um, seasoning. But for me, the one I used to boil my meat is just okay, so I'm not adding. And then taste, if your salt is not okay, you can actually add salt. But to me, my soup is ready, so I'll be adding my bitter leaf. You know, this bitter leaf is actually, it's cooked already. So I'll just there and then bring it off the heat. So this is how I actually prepare my draw soup. Now my draw soup is ready. It's ready. It looks beautiful. Ah, I'm salivating. All right, guys. So this is basically how I prepare my draw soup. Or gonna mix with okra and this is ready. Let me put off the all right guys. So thank you all for thank you very much for thank you all for watching. See you all in my next video. Bye.